It seems strange at first, but Goal Seek is a very useful and powerful tool when you get used to it. You can use it to solve just about any equation that's out there. The balance in Amy's savings account can be modeled by the equation b equals 1750 times 1 1.02 to the t, where b is the balance after she has had the account for t years. How long will it take for the balance to grow to $2,000 if she makes no deposits or withdrawals? First, take a look at what it's giving you and what it's asking for. It tells us what the balance is supposed to be, and that's our dependent variable. And what it's asking for is the value for the independent variable, and that's in an exponent, and we can't solve for an exponent by hand. So this is when we need to use Goal Seek. Start by getting Excel ready, and we need to put labels in our columns. First, make a label for time, which is our independent variable, and then label a column for balance, which is our dependent variable. We don't have any information to enter for the time, and it's tempting to put in the $2,000 for the balance because that's what we want the balance to be. But don't succumb to that temptation. We need to put a formula in here. You enter the formula the way you'd put it in a calculator or write it down normally until you get to the variable. You can't just write the letter T because Excel won't know what you mean. You have to put a cell reference to the cell where you want the time to go. You can either type the cell reference or you can click on the cell. Then press enter and go back and click on the cell with the formula. Click on the data tab and then on what if analysis and choose goal seek off the pop-up menu. It will have a value in the first blank for you. It will say set cell and that should be the cell with the formula in it and we want to set that cell to what value? We want that cell to say $2,000. And then by changing cell, which cell do we want to change? We want Excel to change the time from being blank to being whatever the right answer is. So again, you can type in the cell reference for time or you can click on the cell. Then click OK and it should pop up saying that it found an answer. You can click OK again and we can see that the answer is 6.74 years. So now we can go back and write down our answer. 6.74 years. And if this were on the test and you were needing to show work so that you could get partial credit if you'd made a mistake, it's hard to show work when it's all in Excel, but you could write for me that you used Goal Seek and that you set the balance to 2,000. And that would be enough information for me to know what you did to give you partial credit.